Hello everyone, um, this is Easy Peasy here, and we are here to do a video on Mist Over. Now it's the demo, just want to clarify that straight away, I mean you can see it, so I don't know why I'm saying it, but yeah, it's the demo. It was quite an interesting uh, intro sequence there, so I wasn't talking. It looked quite good, Gra graphics kind of like that of um, Dungeon Defenders, if you ever played that, although they looks more like the second one. Which is quite an interesting graphical design, especially for this sort of game. So let's get right into this. Now I'll just turn my light off so we can get max can max, max, maximum spookage. Let's go normal, just middle of the road, middle of the road. Look at this dainty little fuck. Arta, a small kingdom on the edge of the continent, was once plagued by the threat of destruction when a massive vortex appeared nearby. This pillar of despair, as it came to be called, nearly brought about the end of the world. It all, start, it all started a few years ago when a thick mist and emanating from the vortex began sweeping across the land. From its depths emerged tremendous creatures known as espers. The mist slowly ate away at the land, leaving a trail of decay in its wake, while the espers destroyed everything in their path. Many kingdoms lay in ruins and countless lives were lost. Just when all hope seemed lost, everything suddenly stopped. The mist no longer spread and the espers crawled back into their impenetrable depths. Nevertheless, people feared that the danger would return, convinced that the, ho this, the cause of this horror lay inside the vortex. People started venturing into the mist, hoping to unveil its mystery. Before long, an official expedition corps was founded to explore the vortex. They soon discovered it was a get passageway to the whales existing in different dimensions. To gather better intelligence, the expedition corps recruited more members. People from far and wide ventured to Artra for wealth, glory, and whatever else their heart desired. You came to your senses, your head throbbing. In front of you stands a forest covered in thick mist, full of mysteries. It emanates an aura of death. How did you get here? You're trying to remember. But you're ripped from your thoughts when you hear something dash through the thick forest coming straight at you. Dot dot dot. And then you see them, hideous monsters that look like oversized beetles. These disgusting creatures that are reek wretched screech as if they're about to attack at any moment they are definitely foes not friends looks like you'll need to fight them oh it's one of these sorts of games uh skills okay confirm Massive reflux release. <laughs> oh no. Skills. Okay, we might as well just attack the same guy. I, was, I like this sort of fighting style, I must admit there's certain games where it works, certain games where it doesn't work. But for this it seems to be working out okay, I mean, not too short at the moment as I've just played it and quite honestly I'd probably prefer like, a better sort of fighting style, but I'm willing to bear with and see what happens. Let's just get this guy out of the way. He's gone, he's gone, he's out of here, get out of here, this guy reflects so much. So really I mean... I want to go for a low level thing. That guy's still doing that, so really... Ah, I've got to do that. Okay, that guy's in the shitter. Right, 
Right, we're just gonna go for this guy since, you know, I take less damage anyway. See, I miss, I miss. They just keep missing me. They can't hit me. They can't get rid of me. With this one, I want to then get this guy. With this one... I'm gonna toss a bomb. Now they're bleeding, that's happy days. This one I'm going to then attack this one again. And he's gone, no more reflection for you bud. Yeah, attack that bitch, why not? Now you're still bleeding. So I'm going to just give us all armor, cause yeah. Uh, let's let's go from behind. He's got a good chance to counter attack now, but he's still bleeding. So we're just gonna go straight punishment and kill him. We're done. We won. GG's everybody. We got this. After defeating the monsters, you've been exhausted. But this is no time to rest. More are coming. Enemies continue to surge forth from the mist. So many you don't stand a chance. Your eyes gloss over. Is this the end? Suddenly a group of armed men appear. They attack the monsters with their swords and spears. Reinvigorated, you rush towards the to fight alongside them. And in a matter of moments, all the monsters lay slain or dying. Soldier. Are you hurt? One of your saviors, perhaps the leader, steps forward. Why were you land wondering these lands? You try and answer his, his question, but struggle. Realize that part of your memory is missing. What? You don't remember why you're here? Hmm. You must be one of the missing ones. We run into them from time to time, people without memories. Wandering blind. Wandering blindly into the mist. We call them the missing ones. The memory loss is irregular. Different people seem to forget different things. In your case, you can't recall the reason you came here. Let's go back to town first. It's too dangerous to stay out here in the mist. I feel like I'm competing with this guy. Dude, follow me and we'll take what we'll talk once it's safe. At his words, your saviors start getting ready to move out. You decide it's best to accompany them for now. You leave the vortex and board a small boat. Only after rowing for quite some time do you reach a quaint ferry. A depressing city stands before your feet, and in the distance you can see an enormous vortex. Welcome to Archer. This is the place the Expedition Corps call home. It would, be a... it would be a good idea to meet Duke Henrich first. He is currently in charge of running Arthur's affairs. Right, let's... Right, I've realised, so I am sorry. Can I change this? Though, what point is it to have that? Okay. Oh, that's not nice. Okay. I'm turning that down to a 65 because it's really loud in my ears, so I do apologise if it's too quiet for you. I just personally think. Yeah. <laughs> now, look here. This ferry is exclusively for the Expedition Corps. And listen to the Expedition Corps first, and then we'll talk. Is there a way of. Is there a way of muting the talk? Speech. Just because I'd rather just talk, you know. And having to do all that crap. I mess about that all the time. Let's go straight to the office then, I guess. You arrive at a gloomy mansion. Your escort calls somebody, and an elegant woman strides out of the entrance. Your escort explains the situation to her. She nods, and then she smiles at you. It's such a pleasure to make your acquaintance. They call me Stella. I am Duke Henrich's assistant. His grace is inside. Come this way. Stella leads you to a room at the top of the residence. 
Although it's very dark inside, you're able to make out the figure of a noble looking young man. Welcome to my residence, warriors. My name is Henrich. I am the heir of the Wollenstein family. The ancient book of Pro prophecies has been in my family's care for generations. We believe it contains the key to saving our world from destruction, so I am doing my best to cipher its contents. I am told you are one of the missing ones? Do you remember anything at all? Your memory stops short, like a thread that's been cut in half. The mist is pure evil, corrupting human memories. The longer you're exposed to it, the more you will forget. Well, nothing can be done for now. How about you join the expedition corps until your memories return? Without your memories, it will be difficult for you as new recruits, but we promise to help you get your memories back. Welcome, it's good to see you. Let's just accept a quest, because we don't really have much time. First up to the expedition. Explore over 80% of the mist, misty forest and return. The world covered with mist from the whirlwind is a dangerous place. The mystery forest is the only location where an inexperienced expedition corps team stands a chance. Investigate the area and return. Only then will your corpse crew be finally officially accepted. Okay. So you want to serve an expedition corps? Good. It's time for you to go on your first expedition mission. We need someone to investigate a very deep dimension. But to do that, you must train hard and grow stronger. The Misty Forest seems like a good place to start. It's just about the right difficulty for rookies like you. It's the first area we discovered. Despite its vastness, everything living there is rotting away. Even the soil is cursed. Don't you dare let your guard down. Many of our men have perished in the depths of that forest. From now on, Stella will give you new assignments. I wish you luck on your first expedition. Allow me to quickly guide you through the process of registering. To serve, you need to visit the expedition centre and register your own crew. After that, you can recruit members. Duke Henrich has also prepared equipment you'll find useful in your journey. Once you register, make sure to stop by the shop to pick everything up. Okay. Look at you! No character, no courage, nothing! Get out of here! Ah! Upon being scolded by the old man, the soldier quickly runs off with a shriek. Huh? And who are you? Is this old man drunk? He reeks of alcohol and you catch sight of a few empty bottles sprawled across the table nearby. In response to his rudely asked question, you tell him he came here because of Duke Henrich. What? The Duke himself sent you here? Hmm. So you're new applicants, eh? If you're not dead sure about this, you better give up now. I've seen too many fools rush into the vortex, get scared to death, and try to retreat when it's already too late. Like that scaredy cat just that just ran out of here. But then again, if Henrich sent you, I can't ignore his request. I'll register you with the expedition corps. He's only agreed to comply after thinking for a long time while, and you can tell he has done so reluctantly. I am Mark, the Expedition Corps Commander. And this is the Expedition Center, from which the Expedition Corps launches explorations into the world of the Vortex. How about we start by choosing a name for your new team on the Expedition Corps, your Corps Crew? Enter the name of Corps Crew. Ah, you know what it's gonna be. Muck. P. Balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. McPeebles. Mmm, not bad. You should taste them, they're pretty good. Now, the next step is recruiting members that will join your team. I, I can't keep doing this voice. <coughs> it's harsh. Where'd the harsh in the sixth edition center? What do you need? Recruit. You, ju you just told me, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they're all the same, huh? Grim Reaper, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Shadow Blade, yeah, 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 yeah. I suppose we should really have that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That I like the sound of. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Then what's the point of giving me options? Oh shit, yeah, sorry, I've been skipping through this. I didn't mean to. We need to get the ferry ready for departure. But before that, make sure you pay a visit to the shop. They should have the equipment you need for the expedition. Huh? Yahoo! I'm back! What a nuisance. Hey Lenny, you're not roaming around causing trouble again, are you? That's rude of you. I didn't lose that thing on purpose. Come on. Whatever, just be quiet or I'll dismiss you from the expedition corpse. You don't have to take that tone with me. I'm just doing, I'm doing just fine without your nagging. Do you, so you think I'm kidding? No. Anyway, who are they? Rookies? New recruits, recommended by Duke Hen Heinrich. They were just about to go on an expedition. Ha, I thought so. Look how scared they are. Oh, sorry, I've got to juice into myself. I'm Lenny of the Expedition Corps. That makes us teammates, I guess. So let me know if I can, you need anything. I'll help you become a great warrior. Mind your own business, Lenny. And you recruits. Don't listen to her too much. She'll get you into trouble. That was mean. This expedition sensor, what do you mean? Yeah, go away. Away with you, sir. Now push into the shop. Oh, there you are. Hmm? I haven't seen you before? Are you new around here? Now, to think about it, I seem to remember his grace mentioning that the expedition corps would come here. Nice to meet you. My name is Mary. That's a weird pack you've got on, Mary. I run the only shop in art that provides all necessary supplies for expedition corps. I have it all here, everything from medicines to heal your wounds to swords and arrows to finding monsters. There is a lot to choose from, so take a good look around. I also buy things, so if you find something during your expeditions, you can always bring it to me and I'll give you a fair price. And these are the items His Grace told me to give you. You will find them useful in your first expedition. Looks lovely. Some of them have been contaminated by the mist, but even if they look a bit off, they're perfectly safe to use or eat. I hope you'll visit my shop often, dear friends. Sure, that's, that's your shit. Go away. Away with you. And we meet again. You turn around and see Lenny approaching. She seems to be in a good mood. You're in a new corpse crew. I just saw at the expedition centre, right? And now you're going on your first expedition, aren't you? Haha, <laughs> you're probably so excited. Do you want a piece of advice? There's an old saying that it's better to be a living donkey than the hide of a dead dragon. So if you feel like you're in danger, just run. What did you join the expedition corps for? Money? Glory? I came here because I'm looking for my little sister, who I separated from years ago. What good would it be if I got killed? That's why it's always important to make sure you don't risk your life in any kind of situation. If you survive, there's always a second chance. If you're dead, then that's the end. It's easier said than done. Well, I wish you luck on your first expedition. I'll see you later. Alright, so am I going? Every week a different dungeon opens in each area. Okay. Dungeons have different name sizes and monster levels. The rewards you can get from clearing them also varies. Check the descriptions of available dungeons and evaluate the corpus crew members that you currently have to decide which dungeon to clear. Right, let's just go to Misty Forest since it's literally the only one I can do. Ah, oh, yes, let me get to the game already, please. Let's put the Grim Reaper there. Let's put the Paladin there. Let's do a Shadow Blade over here. A witch there. And a sister. Ah, uh, just... Yeah, 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 just go. Take it all with me. Take it all. Now let's go! Wubble up and up and up! Let me go! Yes! We are onwards! Yeah, might as well go for the expedition tutorial. Ah, oh, okay. Do you need to please make sure you check them out instead of passing by? Keep them in mind the breeze may look different in each dungeon. If something is blocking your path, you must first try and see what's behind. If something important lies, you just be on an obstacle, you can destroy it even if your teammate sort of risk losing HP. If you happen to have a paladin in your cruise, you can destroy the obstacles around her without losing any HP. 
Every crew member has his or her own expedition skill to learn more, check out the yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, chest, 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 chest. Right, yeah, it's just looting. It's all about looting. Why did I? Okay, so you can hide in this game. That's intriguing. Okay. Okay, maps. So traps just avoid. Okay. No, you don't need to take me for the battle tutorial since I've already done that. No, I should real attack first, fucking hell. Um, let's see. Okay, so the damage output is pretty dismal here now. See if we can get him lit up as well. Oh, bleeding on both of them, sweet. Alright, Reaper Scythe. Right, evade, hit. Let's give him tons of buffs. Or debuffs. Um Okay, that's intriguing. I don't really get that, but okay. It's really odd attacks here. Okay, let's do that. I just want a holy guard on her, since she's going to die soon. Yes! High levels of damage there, that's good. Okay. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll just do that again. This one...
I guess I'll just use that. Okay, miss. I can just kill that guy off. So five three three, so that shouldn't be too difficult. That guy now has reflection, that guy has more reflection. Hide because she's gonna die if not. Uh, hmm. Might as well take up your reflection damage. Do wild surge, which is really oddly bright. We'll get extra stam from all this. Okay, intriguing. Let's cast out on you because now you're going to just be really confused all the time as well. You can then holy smite her, take the reflected damage. I say her, but it's a he or she. I don't know, you can continue to hide, otherwise you're dead. You can then... Heal you, because if not I'm probably going to end up dying. You can do a Chaos Blast on this fucker. Which somehow I took reflecting damage from. Alright, yeah, I see. Okay. You're gonna keep doing that. Means it's fine, because this guy can die. It's a 5v2. Uh I'm gonna shield shock you. That puts a stun on you. You can then sting this guy. Do that. That protects our back line. You can't do anything. I get this aid. Yeah, quickly, quickly, please. And of course, you're going to do that. Yeah, and you're gone. So now, all that's left is that shield chock him so he can't do any more. Just in case, you know. Only do that. I'm just getting all that redirected damage on this guy. Because. Yeah, CBO for that. And we're done. Gold. Okay. Right, that well, that's interesting, the fact that it carries over still. Oh, I didn't want to have to do this. I'm finally gonna get rid of this guy. Fucking hell. That guy needs to go, just staying straight away. As soon as I can, I need to get rid of him. Um, can't do that though, so let's just stun this guy again. Uh, strike this fucker from behind in 46.
Minus 70, that's fine, I can handle that. Ah, uh, that's a bit iffy. No! Okay, okay, that's not good, that's not good. Um... Twenty-three. I just want to get that him out because he's annoying. At this point, so he's gone. And then let's sting this guy. Let's get that guy, which I missed, which is fine. We're all going to target on one guy. Uh, let's see, removal buffs. Scythe. And I'm gonna go for shield shot. Hope he hasn't built up an immunity, that's good. And then while he's got that, let's sting this guy. Kick that guy. Uh let's see what that does. Miss both, sad. Okay, yeah, that fuck is down. Expected. Right, Reaper Scythe. Shield Shock. No, come on. Let's just fuck him up then. Star bullet. Okay, this guy's fucking useless against these enemies. She's already dead. What are you doing? Oh, you killed her. I should have just. Huh. Fuck you guys then. Okay, two of my people just keep. So I can't use magic against these, is what I was saying, basically. Well, I don't know. That kind of proves otherwise. Alright, let's just go all for standard attacks now then. Finally, jeez. Well, I want to show some proper content, but it's making it so hard. Oh, man. Alright, once again we've finished. Jesus Christ, that's annoying. Hopefully we'll have to do this too many more times, because it's actually getting a bit frustrating now. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Oh, man. find the exit somehow. I don't really want to go anywhere until I found the exit. I just don't really have a choice I guess. Jesus Christ. 
It's a lot of management. Vertigo. Fucking typical. Chill shot, bitch. I'm guessing you're gonna be immune now. No, you still got stunned. Okay, that's interesting. So I can shield shot you again. And that's just a loop, so I might as well just come back at the end of this fight. Okay, we are back. We just won that fight. Got some good shit. Someone's bleeding still. Oh, fuck's sake. What is this? I didn't want to attack it. I'm going to leave this video here actually because I'm not enjoying the game myself anymore. I, it was okay at the start, it had a strong beginning. I was hoping for more of a horror aspect whereas actually it was just a bit... just boring. You know, the fights got tedious. I mean, sure they were good. It was a good core concept. But the fact that it was just over and over and over and over. There wasn't anything really else to do. Except for every five seconds bump into someone. I mean, sure I could have hit. But it, it, it's just repetitive after that. So, yeah. I'm not really interested. But I hope you guys liked it. If you want to try it out. I mean, go ahead, try it out. Um, and I can't remember what it's called to the top of my head. But you'll see it. Uh, the name of it on the video so i hope you liked it if you did please like comment subscribe and consider comment again commenting your thoughts thanks so much for watching goodbye everyone